Today is Friday and we're back here again with another Wild Game Friday. Today we're going to be making um, a mule deer breakfast skillet type thing. I usually make this uh, for my family. Uh, usually when I make it, I make like two or three batches, but today we just have one of everything. Um, so for this recipe, you're going to need some milk, uh, vegetables, we need half an onion, half a bell pepper, and a few mushrooms. Usually when I make this, it's usually a double batch, so I just use like a full onion and a full bell pepper, but we're just doing one batch today. You're going to need some garlic, butter, a package of bacon uh, cut up, some cheese. These potatoes are the key to the recipe. It's super easy. Uh, makes like the recipe go by faster instead of like having to chop all the potatoes up and stuff. Uh, then you're going to need some wild game meat sausage. You can use mule deer. That's what I'm going to be using today. Uh, but you can use elk, whatever you guys have in the freezer. Um, you're going to need eggs and some seasonings. My favorite is Montreal steak seasoning. Uh, maybe some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then oil. So first step, um, just to get it out of the way, I'm going to scramble the eggs real quick. Uh, usually when I make this, like I said, I do a double batch, so I'll use like a full dozen of eggs, but we're just going to use maybe like seven, six or seven. Um, oh gosh. Well, don't do that when you do that. So I'm going to do eight eggs, might as well. Got to get that protein. Um, so after you have that, I'm just going to scramble them up. Super simple. I'm sure all you guys have scrambled eggs before. Now, everything else is mostly going to be done out there on the Traeger, so um, we're just going to take everything out and we'll continue from there. All right, so real quick, I forgot. The only reason why I bought this milk is to put a little bit in the eggs. Makes them pretty fluffy. Um, I got whole milk, but you can really use, I've used heavy cream, I've used half and half, it doesn't really matter, so. I'm just gonna mix that up real quick. And then we'll put these in a cool spot until all the rest of this is cooked up, and then we add the eggs. It's a process, you gotta, I think we'll cook the bacon up, and then, um, then we'll take it out of the pot and we'll add, we'll leave the bacon grease in there, and add our vegetables, and then our potatoes. Add the bacon back in. We don't want the bacon to cook the entire time. We don't want it like super crispy and burnt, you know? So, the bacon is done. If you want to take a look, it's all nice and crispy. Not too crispy, not too burnt or anything, but we're going to take this off and now we'll set that aside. And I think I'm just going to, well, we're going to use this. We're going to use this grease. Might as well. It's a fat. Um, and we're gonna put in, we're gonna add mushrooms, the bell peppers, and the onions, and some garlic. And we're just gonna stir that all up and get it kind of cooked down nice and tender. And after these are cooked down, we're gonna add our mule deer sausage and we'll cook that up. We're gonna add this in there. This is again, from Porter's deer from last year, and it's actually the deer, I think, from the new uh, Go Hunt original parcels. So now we're just gonna add this in here. Just gonna start breaking it up. It'll cook. are frozen so we're going to cook them until uh, nice and cooked up and then we'll add the everything else in. It'll be really yummy. Okay. Alright, so the potatoes are now they're cooked and they're ready. So we're going to add this meat mixture back in along with this and the bacon. Super like smushy and 
sloppy, very wet, but um, the eggs are going to cook and uh, it's going to be really good. So I'm just going to let that sit for about, I don't know, 10-15 minutes and we'll come back to it. Oh. Alright, so this is looking really good. One of the final steps now is we're going to put a bunch of cheese on here. I got sharp cheddar. This is the good cheese, Tillamook. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on, probably use the whole bag. Um, but if you, uh, you can also use like pepper jack or, I was gonna get pepper jack, but I couldn't find any shredded pepper jack. And it had like a little bit of a kick, you know, cause it's kind of spicy, but this, uh, this will be tasty. bacon, onion, bell pepper, cheese. You're going to pull them around in the trailer? Chop. <laughs> That's pretty tasty. This would be really good to like toss in a tortilla. Oh yeah. Like bring, up on, bring up on the mountain with you. Mm -hmm. This stuff makes for like super good leftovers too. Yeah. Like I've eaten this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner like t two days in a row. That was really good. Thanks, Bacon's baby. tasty. Oh yeah. 